In this video, I want to share my process of making a photo shoot. That means the preparations, that means also what happens during the, pro the, the photo shoot and afterwards what's my feeling about it, how did it go and also what's to come from now. As I explained in the earlier video about photographic goals, I have this goal this year to photograph emotions all kinds of emotions, emotions on the street, emotions in photo shoots. Emotions is something that I focus on in 2024. If you want to know more about photography goals and how to make them and why, uh, watch the video that I put somewhere here or in the description down below so that you can, yeah, learn, learn about the making, making photography goals. When I start to plan a photo shoot, I often have a idea. Um, then I often visit Pinterest and of course Instagram as well, but Pinterest because there I can actually like type in the what I'm actually looking for. And this time I was looking for uh, working with mirrors uh, because mirrors, I think they kind of represent something like a deeper meaning of how we view ourselves. So mirrors was one thing that I wanted. The other thing I wanted was a very minimalistic um, approach to this. I had this some sort of idea that it should be like the photo shoot should be in an like in an empty room where where there's maybe natural light or with not very much light and uh, and and the idea was to fit the the model into one of my mirrors or few of my I had like a couple of different mirrors that I wanted to work with and of course um, I contact my favorite model that I off I have worked with quite a few times now uh, because it was easy because this person knows how I work and uh, we feel very comfortable with each, with each other which I think is very like it's the most important thing that there's safety and and comfortability when there's a photo shoot if you want good shots that's why i chose my go-to model for this thing once i knew what i wanted i of course tried to, i started practicing different things i did some some self portraits i did some work with my with my kids because preparations are probably the most important thing to get this to work because when I come to the photo shoot I want to know what I want so that I can just kind of explain to the model uh, these are the kind of shots I want the, the, these are the props that we are using so that it feels I think that also brings a big part of feeling safe uh, when, when while while shooting so so be prepared for what and have a plan have a plan maybe write things down that's what i often do actually i have everything written down so that if i, st I if i start failing to 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 remember what i want or if i'm nervous uh, i can always check my list on what what were the kind of shots that i wanted uh were they like close-ups were they middle range or further away uh what details did i want to have in my shots so that is something that is very useful for me and I think it, it is probably useful for you as well if you have no experience in uh, shooting someone. It's much easier to be confident about what you do if you have a plan and you stick to it. I wanted... Uh, it, it, I ended up with four cate categories for this. A uh, shot through the mirror, a shot with the mirror in hand or in, in, in their lap, communication with the mirror, and lastly, I wanted to do something creative. So that was a intentional camera movement shot, ICM shot, which ended up being one of the favorites of the bunch. So let me take you through the results. The first one was photographed with, a, with my 50 mil. Uh, it showed confidence. I wanted to show confidence uh, with the legs. This was the wor warm-up shot. I thought this was kind kind of easy. We had a, I had a, like a clear idea of what I wanted, and we tried a few poses, and uh, and this is the what the the confident one. Then I wanted to show uncertainty. Uncertainty I did with 
um, 85 mil lens so that I could come a bit closer uh, within the uncertainty with the toes. So I don't know, I, I got a strong feeling that this was kind of like how it's when you're like a small child and you maybe have done something wrong or you're not entirely safe and and your toes kind of hug your feet so that you feel more safe and then uh, we have boredom which is uh, photographed with 85 with an 85 mil uh, and and we did the boredom one like a whole body shoot which was very nice because it was tricky to get like the the model to fit the the frame because of course there, there's always like things that we can know but we we worked around it to figure out how to do it uh, i actually used a backdrop for 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 this so that i would want i, I really wanted a, a very calm background so so i had a backdrop behind the model to to make this work then we have the fourth shot which is taken with a 50 mil uh which is shame I think this kind of conveys shame quite well. The fifth one, sadness or tearful. And this shot is um, shot on a 85 mil. Sixth one is guilt. Uh, I think this one was quite creative. I really liked the shot. Uh, I thought it was funny on some level, but at the same time, I think it guilt is, yeah, it's an interesting feeling and it can look very different. Then we have one of the ICM shots, uh, I call it pleasure because I think there's a lot of pleasure vibes in this one. This is definitely one of my favorite shots. The ICM shots, I actually, I took my, my 16 to 35 uh, lens out because I wanted a bit more like broadness and variety. And, and so, so this, this turned out quite cool with that frame or that, that lens, sorry. Uh, usually I don't use the 16 to 35 that much except for video work so so it was nice to 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 have this in my bag today the eighth one is evil gossip or gossip uh, this one is made by taking two shots uh, one of one of the person in the mirror and one of the person in front of the mirror I, this was actually also also something I really I like wanted to try out I didn't know if it would work and uh, there was a, a few different ones we also tried which didn't really work they worked somehow but not well enough uh, so I learned actually I really learned something new about this but it was a fun way to to create photos and also use a bit of like use a bit more of the Photoshop side of editing. And the ninth one is Serenity, also shot with the 16 to 35. I think this one is quite calm and nice, like it. And then lastly, we have the 10th shot, shot on, on 50 mil and uh, the feeling is happiness. This was a very fun shoot to make and create and to plan. Uh, because I my expectations were quite high because I had an idea and at the same time you never know where you end up with your ideas and uh, also um, it was really fun to take the time to practice something new and and to have that goal of creating or trying to like capture emotions really made it it really felt like a an important step in the process of creating strong images with emotions. So I feel really happy I had the opportunity to do this. I'm actually planning a new shoot which I really look forward to with actually one of my newest newest Instagram friends, Alvin Grace. I don't know if I'm pronouncing the name right but I will link to his Instagram. He shoots some really nice portraits. portraits uh, looking forward to play around and, and create some more emotion shots with Alvin. So this is what I wanted to share today. My process of shooting in a studio. If you want to know more about these kinds of shoots, if you want to see more of these kind of shoots, please share your thoughts and desires in the comments below. Uh, I will gladly make and create videos that you want to see. I'm also thinking it would be nice to create some 
some uh, Instagram or, or YouTube live streams, uh, maybe on locations and, and such things, so that you get to follow my process, because process is something that I really enjoy, even more than the result. Anyways, don't give up your daydream. Take care.